I'm confused a little bit by, and again, I've got a disconnect with this incident leading to this. Because again, I, I'm not somebody who believes Draymond punched him intentionally. I believe he was physical intentionally. I also know factually he reacted differently after this game than he did to any other. He hadn't apologized for Jordan Poole. He's never apologized for Rudy Gobert. If anything, he's emboldened that we've talked about that. To me, the greatest mistake that could have been made, probably, and I, and I don't know, this will be more clear as we move on, is probably handing him $96 million and trading away Jordan Poole. If that doesn't embolden the guy into his personality, into what his rights are within an organization, I don't know what does. I don't know that that's true. What I hate to do is psychoanalyze a guy, and I cannot in my mind get over the idea that this guy is going to go to counseling to get, quote, better or get right until the league has deemed him appropriate enough to play basketball over an on-court incident for somebody that has not been arrested, quit drinking, is a, is a husband, a father, a son, has not had any issue that has made him a bad, quote, role model for anybody except that he's demonstrative and probably more violent than he should be on the court. And when we're talking violent, we're talking violent relative to the game of basketball. The choke was over the line. The punch was a, a, an in-house incident that somebody, if, you, if your kids started punching each other, I don't know that <laughs> well, you'd be thrilled that it got out on video and went public and you had to deal with it. You know what no. I mean? So, I, I again, that doesn't change the, the situation. That said, how does the league deem he's better to play basketball when nothing that he's being punished for is from off the court in basketball? We won't know until he plays basketball. So what are they going to say? You know what? You, you've you proven this. And the league, great track record of proving when guys have figured it out. Kyrie, what a great... I mean, they, they, he's, we know. We figured it out. This is a crock to me, man. This is absolute BS. They put a number on it, and where's the Players Association behind this? To say Draymond's on board with it and the Warriors are on board with it, what choice do you have to say you're on board with it or not? Well, I think you could say I, I need it. I mean, if you're Draymond and his agent, you, you or and the players' representative, player the players' union, you could say no. Yeah, we're gonna need a game. Right? We're not doing this whole thing. But they, I mean, look, everybody agreed with it. Everybody agreed That's with it. That's what's weird to me a little bit. And I know that Dumars and Andre involved, and I know I know Andre's all knowing. <laughs> He's like, it's like Andre could do it. It's like, well, like Andre's Oracle. Said, everybody kind of shuts up, and we're like, well, Andre agreed. Everyone's like, oh, okay, well, all right, Andre's done. <laughs> and again, Andre knows the guy. And maybe he's maybe that makes it easier for Draymond to accept this or to, and Andre who knows that Andre goes dude just do what they say man just and he's like all right bro I'll just do it like who knows what that what that conversation is like and what legitimacy there is but to the people who have said and I just right before we came on I did a hit a radio hit down in Arizona uh, talking I, the premise was to talk Niners and Cardinals and they basically just wanted to talk yeah. Draymond um, like like their thought is well he was just trying to trying to save face after the game and apologizing. That's to me. That's progress. What difference does it make if it's to save fate? You're never going to believe the apology anyway, right? None of these people. Nobody really cares if Draymond apologizes. They just want that to be done. It's the optics of what has to be said. So we're we'll talk more about this. I'm not that upset, everybody. It is warm in here, though, Tom. It is. Uh, it, it is definitely. Little, I'm pick this sweater off. It is well, warm here, in here. here's I pissed that Tim put the wrong time on March. I period. think it is nothing more. Then the league is just fed up with him. Yeah, I'm they're, sorry. I'm kind of fed up with him. They're just fed up with I'm his bleep. I know a lot of fans are too. Keep talking they're, about they're this. Just, they're just tired of him, and they're like, "That's it. Take a break, reset, get your bleep together." And I think what they're saying is, you keep going down this path, you're going to start missing missing huge chunks of time, maybe even a year. That I think that's what they're saying. We've just had we were, we've had it up to here with everything. We've had it up to here with the stomping. With the the kicking, and I know that was a long time ago, but it all adds up. Uh, uh, the punching of Jordan Poole, which I thought was, looking back on it, uh, a mistake that they didn't suspend him. Like the Warriors said at that point. And the league didn't, so to me, that can't really be a part of this. Like well, to me, it's like. But, you I, but I think it still is. It, to me, Even though they it couldn't do is. it, they, they, they didn't do it because it wasn't on the court. It was at practice. But yeah. the Warriors should have. That would that. I think that's where the whole season just went to hell uh, is that they just chose him over Jordan Poole. And, you know, I, I don't know that Jordan Poole uh, reacted all that well, but, look, I've never been sucker punched in the face and then have my team stand behind the guy that sucker punched me is basically what happened. And that that I think that's where the thing kind of maybe veered off course. But, it was it, look, it, stuff happened before that. 
uh, and then you get to the you know the stomp uh, of Sabonis, and then the, it just it was it was enough. Like it it was just it was enough. It was like the uh, um, I go back and use a uh, another uh, casino reference here. Remember at the end of the casino when uh, and, and they just go they just had enough of Nikki. They just had enough. He's had enough, dude. You just get you just, they just had enough. Throw him in the hole with his brother. They just threw him in the hole, man. Toss him in the hole. Throw him in the hole. They just they, they'd had enough. Like oh, they dude. just it was enough. And I think that's how the league is all swollen. They're just yeah. shoveling dirt it's on. An, it's yeah. enough. Oh, it's like, just like it's enough. We we we've had enough of this crap. And this is what we're gonna do. And I think it sets the precedent now for even more harsher, longer punishments going forward. Like, look, here's the deal: if you don't pull your crap together. You are really going to get stung because he's losing one hundred fifty four thousand dollars for every game he's missing. That I mean, he has enough money, but I'm sorry, you miss ten games, one point five million. You miss twenty games, three million, maybe even be more than that because I'm thinking twenty five million a year. It might, it's got to be more than yeah, that. It's gotta be, yeah, it's got to be. It's got to be what about uh, every twenty games has got to be about six. Six million, so yeah, about three million every uh, every ten. So that I mean, that's a good chunk Which of change. Which is something you're that they, they'll have to take into account. I mean, that's something that, that when when the, if this goes indefinite, indefinite, they can't just say forever you don't get paid anymore. So like we'll, uh, just real quick uh, to go back to the movie, he's one step away from being put in the hole. Like he's about one step away from being in a cornfield and having a hole dug. And the NBA just throws him in the hole and Tough says, deal. we've done with you. Tough deal. We're done. That's, that's rough. That's a rough day. 